a new note on Babbitt by Sinclair Lewis. I'm thinking today Babbitt as a tragic figure. Uh, two notes ago, uh, I thought of Babbitt as uh, as a comedy hero, and indeed Gugu, Gugu seems to be the name they used for him. Uh, for some reason, it reminded me of Flynn, uh, the disabled son of Walter White in uh, Breaking Bad, uh, who chose not to be uh, called by Junior, uh, but uh, be called as Flynn, for some time at least. Uh, so, Babbitt's mother visits, <laughs> and... Uh, she keeps talking about um, about uh, his father. Uh, she remarks about the uh, the, the, the wonderful uh, uh, evolution development of her grandchildren. She's wrong here. This, this is again a, a comic moment. Uh, she's impressed with the fact that the uh, grandson is working at the car, but that's because he likes to, to uh, work with oil and he likes to get dirty, uh, we're told, so it's a funny misinterpretation. The same thing with a, with a daughter, she's so good, so correct, so uh, so not interested in, in going out, and again, wrong. And Gugu! Gugu, if I didn't remember that's from Gugu. Babbitt used to be called Gugu. Now the serious, uh, important, influent realtor is so distant, so far from, from this uh, Gugu. Uh, but otherwise, um, there were some, uh, as I said, tragic aspects. Uh, Babbitt is, at, at, at times, if not most of the time in conflict with these children who have, uh, in previous notes I mentioned, uh, uh, extraordinary, uh, preposterous uh, claims upon his, their father. Uh, car, why, why, why don't you, don't you ask for an yacht, for a house, to a relative? Um, and bus business is challenging quite often. I mentioned that he invites these important people, but uh, they don't return the invitation, so that's sad for the family. Uh, they're not considered the Babbitt's worthy now. Even if, at a further point, Babbitt meets with an important man in his travels, and he's as a tragic figure and comical at the same time. Tragic comic. Uh, personage, uh, he he thinks about what how he will tell the story back uh, back in uh, Zenith, uh, how he met this man and he will be invited with his wife uh, to his castle and it's served this but he's Jerry for him and his wife is not fussy and uh, indeed at the end of their communication they're friendly and the man takes his boots off and he says this is the best experience I have since coming to America and so on. But otherwise, uh, there's so much going on that um, um, makes him seem, if not sad, sad comes to mind, he's not sad because he's not aware most of the time that uh, what he's doing, his position can be uh, can be perceived negatively. It's true, some mock him and his position. There's this man who refuses to uh, to invite him. Not exactly refuses, but forgets, so to say. Uh, he likes. He wants to be liked. So he, when he has earlier on a conflict with an employee, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like the fact that the, he, he's asking for a bonus, and he says, "We don't believe in that." I mean, what, what? Your wife doesn't expect you to work, and uh, she would like a man who's 
lazing around the, the house, uh, sloth and all that. Uh, later on, this man is involved in not just uh, dirty deals, but uh, outright illegal. So when caught, his brother is telling him, well, I have to let you go. But there's a, a big clash here and there's a sort of blackmail and accusations flying around because Babbitt in his turn uh, is involved in a, um, a, a deal which, which means um, not double cross, double crossing people, triple crossing as they put it. So that's, that's, that's bad.